Hi, welcome to the part 12 of the video series. Here we are looking at some of the real exam questions for AWS Solution Accredit Associate Exam. Please try to focus on the concepts explained in these videos that will help you clear the certification exam with ease. Please subscribe to my channel. For questions 1 to 65, please refer parts 1 to 10 of this video series. Now let's jump into the questions. Question number 66. Please pause your video here and mark the keywords. So these are my keywords. First, let us understand the story. The story is you have an app on premises. You want to move it to cloud AWS. And where you want to move it? You want to move it on EC2 instances. And these EC2 instances are on Windows platform. I'll repeat, it is on Windows platform. It is on Windows platform. And then these will be connected to a Windows file system. Windows platform, Windows file system. Windows platform, Windows file system. Now let's scan through the options. What solution would you give? See why I told Windows is because it is all Windows. Okay, do not select an option which doesn't work with Windows. So EFS, it works with Linux, not with Windows. This is a Windows platform. EFS will not work. Cancel it. It is wrong. Storage gateway is used when you want to put hybrid cloud. Here you want to migrate everything from here till here. Everything from here till here. Everything from here till here. Hybrid is where you will have some components here, but you will also have on-prem and both will together. It's like having two wives or two husbands. It's hybrid. And that is where storage gateway is used. The question doesn't talk about hybrid it is just saying i do not want two wives or two husbands just give me one wife or one husband one partner so storage gateway is of no use here b is wrong fsx is for windows fsx is for windows perfect fsx is for windows since these are ec2 instances on windows platform you use this file system as fsx because that is on windows it will work perfectly so c is correct EBS is not a shared file system. EBS is not a shared file system. It is a volume, block store volume, which is attached to IC2 instance. It is not a shared file system. So here, EC2 instance, they already have this EBS block store here. So this is Elastic block store. All of these instances, they all have some Elastic block store, they share it. But the question is talking about file share. The file share is only on FSX. The file share cannot be on EBS. It is like EBS is your personal car and FSX or Windows file system file share is your shared car. That just like Uber. So D is wrong. So C is the right answer. We will lock this answer and move forward. Let's look at the next question. Please pause this video. Mark your keywords. So here are my keywords. It's a first. I try to understand the story. You have EC2 instances and it is running huge big data analytics. Huge big data. Okay, the volumes and volumes of data. These variable workloads run each night and it is critical they finish by the start of the business. For example, at night 12 o'clock, it starts running. Before morning 8 o'clock, it should finish so that when your business comes in, they should not get an ideal state of the application, should not say that we are still running, we are still executing the data. No, it should be ready for them. Now, if you want such a solution, what is the most cost effective way? It's the most cost effective way here. See, uh, spot instances and spot fleet are very cost effective, but it cannot be used for critical workloads. Critical workloads, see spot instances or spot fleet, what it will do is, it, is, it works like a bidding, okay? Now you told I am taking 10 instances at this rate. Someone, after 15 minutes of usage, someone else bids higher and you, you lose that access. So your critical workload will stop and you will not be able to give the application to the business the following day the start of business okay so these two a and b ruled out now on demand instances will meet this on demand instances even for critical loads it will be available start of business but it will be very cost effective uh, very costly it will not be cost effective on demand reserve instances are like you sign a commitment of say three years you, uh, you save uh, almost 60 to 70 percent on your EC2 instances and what reserve instances does is it is your car like imagine you you buy a personal car okay or you go to Hertz and you rent a car and you take it for like three years and that's your car for three years 
nobody else can share it on demand instances is also yours but it is it is very expensive it is on demand let what it means is today you want to use a car for four hours you use it and then you give it back so if you use hertz in that model on demand model it will be very expensive but if you use hertz in a reserved model way like per month you sign a deal every month you pay the, make the payments reserve is cheap similar to that in cloud also reserve instance is cheap it is reserved for you you run your big data loads critical loads and since you are making an upfront commitment, it is a lot cheaper than on-demand instances. That's why it is cost-effective. So this is the right answer. We will move forward. So let's look at question number 68. Please pause the video here. Mark the keywords. So for me, these are the keywords. So let's go by the story. Here we want to choose two options, two, two answers. Okay. The first thing. So there are five options. We have to choose two answers. The second thing is what is the story so the story is very short if you see the keywords it's a requirement of a file share on we're using smb protocol so whenever you think about smb right thumb rule please focus on this thumb rule smb me always means windows it never means any linux systems and whenever you see windows and whenever you see file share fsx for windows is the answer first answer so we derived our first answer now what is the second answer so second answer these two keywords will give us they are saying the file uh, share solution should work from on-prem and aws both so whenever we talk about such scenarios hybrid on-prem as well as aws on-prem as well as aws only one tool or use storage gateway file gateway that is only one stop okay so we never use s3 for file share s3 is not a file share it is an object store it is not a file store point number one so s3 is ruled out s3 is ruled out because it is an object store it cannot be used like plugging in network drives those kind of stuff efs is a file share for linux systems it will not work for windows system you are talking about smb protocol which this protocol only works on windows system smb only works on windows systems it will not work on linux systems so efx is only for linux systems not for windows systems. so b is wrong and a ebs ebs is not a file share it is a block store EC, it is a storage for EC2 instance. Okay, EC2 instance cannot be created without EBS. So EBS is not a file share. So we will lock these two answers and move forward. Let's see the next question. Understand the story, mark your keywords, pause the video, understand the story, mark your keywords, please. So here are my keywords. It's a highly sensitive application. Whenever you talk about highly sensitive, encryption has to be done. Encryption can be done at two places. Encryption in motion, encryption at rest. Encryption in motion is like when the data moves from one system to the other. Encryption at rest is when the system or the data is residing in a database or some sort of store. Question is only asking about encryption at rest. It is not asking about encryption in motion. When you are talking about encryption in motion, it is always certificate manager ssl encryption since the question says encryption at rest so option a is wrong and option c is wrong okay now that leaves us with this and this i already marked this option d because that's the right answer but let's look at b first so b is talking about cloud hsm encryption keys and those kind of stuff uh, so this is just talking about encrypting the database volumes so what about ec2 the question is also saying you have see whenever you have a highly sensitive application you have to you know safeguard both ec2 and rds option b only safeguards rds database volume so we will go here option d it safeguards both ebs ebs is a block store uh, it's the storage of ec2 so when you're talking about encrypt encryption at rest so this is where it stores the data ec2 stores the data in ebs that has to be encrypted and rds has to be encrypted and that encryption is possible through kms kms is a key management system of aws and it can encrypt both the instance the ec2 is the instance and the database volumes so rds is the database volume hence d is the right answer let's see question number 70 so this is the last question for this part we will look at some more questions in the next part please pause this video understand the story mark your keywords 
so this question what are the keywords first let us understand that so there is an application it is hitting rds okay so there is an increase in the number of read only sql queries and you have to solve this problem with minimal changes see the number of queries keeps increasing now because of that there is a performance degradation so number of users maybe number of users increased if the number of users increased number of queries increased and that is causing performance degradation let's scan through the option option a so dynamodb is a no sql database rds is a sql based database it is a relational database so dynamodb will not fit in is straight away rom the second option says you load the data in elastic cache the elastic cache automatically gets loaded and if there are uh, similar data which never changes or doesn't change frequently you can it gets loaded in elastic cache you do not load the data in elastic cache and then you cannot run queries on elastic cache it will uh, it will you know how elastic cache works is it you fire the query if elastic cache has the data it will send the data from the cache otherwise it will go to the database you cannot directly run the query on elastic cache but you can read uh, create a read replica and run the queries on the read replica so you create a read replica of the primary database and have uh, bs run the queries that is perfectly fine so c looks correct d c d says use redshift cluster there is no need of a redshift cluster here because uh, you already have rds and they are telling you uh, to recommend a solution with minimal changes you know you see this you minimal changes so minimal changes uh, the question says and what you are doing is you are throwing rds and you are putting a redshift cluster which is not required here a uh, cluster will be, will be very expensive here so we will log this answer please subscribe to my channel you in the next part of this video series